Hello, hello, y YouTube uh, uh, viewers. Listen, listen to me very, very closely. John three sixteen says, "For God so loved the wo world that He sent His only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe on Him should not perish but have e eternal, everlasting life." Listen, for God, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn it, but to save it. There is no judgment for those who trust in him, but those, but those who do not trust him have already been judged. For not believing in him. It is 4 a.m. It's just after 4 a.m. And I have been up since just after 3.30 a.m. Listen to me. If you are ever up between 3 and 6 a.m. on a regular basis. Or, or, or between 1 and 3 a.m. Or between 1 and, 1 and 6 a.m on a regular basis then you need to ask the Lord for a for a desire to pray for the lost you need to ask him to make you want to pray pray for the lost whenever you are up between 1 and 6 a.m. no matter how long you're up if you're up 10 minutes or more even between 1 and 6 a.m. During that time, you need to ask him for a desire to pray for the lost. Because, because as I said, John 3.16 clearly, clearly says, it is, it is not his will that any should perish, but that all should come and have everlasting and eternal life. And, and and Matthew six says, Matthew six or seven says, everyone who asks receives, everyone who seeks finds, and the door is open to everyone who knocks. And and Mark eleven says, if ye if ye have faith and do not and do not doubt in your heart, you can say unto this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea. And your command will be obeyed. All that's re required is that you really believe and do not doubt in your heart. But but when you are praying, first forgive anyone you're, you're holding a grudge against. So the Heavenly Father can and will forgive you of your sins. And, and first, first John 1 says... If we say that we have no sin, we are calling God a, a liar and his word is not in us. But but if we confess our sins, he is, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. For Lamentations 3 says, his mercies are new each day; they are new every morning. And 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 First John four says, "Perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love." So so, y YouTube viewers. Listen, if, if you are ever up between 1 and 6 a.m. or even just a small portion of that time, you need to ask the, the Lord to give you a desire to pray for the lost. I repeat, you, you need to ask God, 
Almighty to give you a a desire and an, and an urge to pray to pray for every lost person on this earth. That's that's what I'm gonna start doing, and I encourage every one of you to do the exact same thing. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe.